560theanswer.com. Now, from the Signature Bank Studios. If you're looking for the latest news, insight into what it means, and the sharpest opinion, there's only one station in Chicago where you can turn, and it's this one. We're AM 560, The Answer. In, uh, in my remaining half hour here on uh, AM 560 for Dan and Amy. And by the way, they're back uh, Tuesday. I'm going to set you up with some things that you may want to do for uh, maybe the New Year, maybe New Year's Eve, but uh, uh, that will be one. A, a restaurant suggestion that I have for you, maybe two. And then uh, dry January, we will visit with uh, Joe Chura of a Go Brewing, a Go Brewery in uh, Naperville um, to uh, – Give you an option to uh, alcoholic beer, and then maybe just uh, take in January off from the uh, from the wicked ale. Um, I may have to do that. I'm not much of a beer guy, but uh, you know, you throw a little Tito's at me, a little uh, uh, Angels Envy band, I'm right there. Uh, so I want to uh, say good morning to a, a, a friend of mine. Uh, gentleman's name is KC Gulborough. KC has been on. Well, he's been on just about every radio station. Um, were, were you at the height of your controversy, KC? And I don't want to just focus on that but were you on fox news too uh yes i was on uh with neil cavuto that was uh, a a great experience that was yeah. a good time yeah. yeah you know so here's the thing you know we we come into the uh to the pandemic and and uh you know of course you know the drill everybody has to wear a mask as we're going to flatten the curve as uh oh uh governor not governor well pritzker said we'll flatten the curve and then fauci said we'll flatten the curve and and they really uh, handcuffed uh, individuals and businesses. And there at uh, Foxfire uh, Restaurant, downtown Geneva, Illinois, one of my favorite places to go, you guys fought the law and you won, didn't you? Yeah, well, we, we did our best. We uh, we were allowed to be, at one time, the only restaurant in Illinois to be legally open for uh, <laughs> during the pandemic. So that was uh, that was a good victory. We had uh, got a hats off to Kevin and Greg, our, our lawyers, that uh, had a great case and uh, it was a good time. Well, you know, my my question is, and I know that you did, you know, because you you didn't you didn't do this out of spite. You did this to uh, keep your workers working, to keep your your building uh, paid for. And I mean, it's how the economy works. It's how you make a living. It's how you feed your family. And you did all the protocols. You did everything the way that you were supposed to do it. Do you still use all those air purifiers and all that uh, money that you invested? Yeah, we still have those air purifiers up. Uh, they they run every day. Uh, I. I believe they do work. They do help out. They're uh, medical grade uh, air purifiers that uh, that really keep that air pure. And we we do still practice washing our hands and and everything else that we have to do to be in the food business. So, um, yeah, we take every precaution. We take it seriously still. No, I, I, and I know you do, boy. I saw something the other day on your social media, and I just want to be uh, clear uh, that I've known. Uh, the Galborough family most of my life. Uh, you grew up just on the street from me, and, and, and we remain friends, and I'm uh, very uh, proud of the work that you and your family have done and your dad at that restaurant. But I noticed one of your workers had, uh, and I, I am the guy that I, I do not believe in electric bikes. I think bikes are something you have to pedal. It just goes to show you how lazy we are as Americans. But your guys use it to, uh, one of your guys uses an electric bike to get to work, so I'm going to give him a pass. Somebody thought they needed that bike more than he did, and they stole it. And you guys, you, you went and you got him another one, didn't you? Yeah, well, uh, somebody stole our, uh, our guys' only mode of transportation, but, uh, you know, it was a sad day, but. Our, our good friends down in Batavia helped us out at Boji Bikes and uh, and got us a, a great deal on a, a Hemingway electric bike. We got it for him, and uh, he, I never seen somebody jump so high before. <laughs> and that played a basketball game. It was a, a great experience, and he's he's at tickle pink. We do uh, we no do a cheating, but <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of work together. Whether that's on the Illinois Special Olympics, and uh, you know we we help the. Uh, the uh, the Special Olympics when we do the uh, tip a cop which uh, you do with the Geneva Police but you do good things but I want to talk about your restaurant now because the product you have is second to none how cool was it for you to win the uh, uh, Certified Angus Steakhouse of the Year that's a lot of steakhouses that's yeah that's uh, over a hundred thousand steakhouses that we were we won this great award we were we I'm still in shock it was uh <laughs> so honored and humbled to, to get this thing it was uh we've been working with certified Angus beef steaks the best steaks you can get for over 15 years they've been like family to us and to, to win that award was uh, a huge accomplishment and uh, we're very honored to be 
to win that. You know, uh, we were talking earlier today, and, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but minimum wage going up in the state of Illinois, uh, this uh, Illinois uh, workers uh right bill or whatever it is saying that uh, a, a a a worker can get uh, a, a week off uh, for every year work to take off time uh, for whenever they need I, I I don't think that's probably going to be a pro- problem for you because I, I I watch your workers and I watch you handle your workers and and you share in all the success you have with them but does does this state make it hard to do business it does and and some of these laws that they're putting in that they're thinking that it's going to help the average worker. I, I see it's going to really hurt the full-time worker. I mean, we're going to have to hire more part-times to fill in for the time of people taking off. And, and the amount of money that, that goes into our labor is already high uh, compared to some of our friends that own businesses in other states. It's, they can't believe it. And it's uh, it's really hard to, to run a business in Illinois right now. How do you how do you just keep? I mean, it's like I'm sure it's like pounding a rock every day, but you keep doing it. And I, you know, I mean, I know that it's it's probably expensive, but uh, where, I guess where else you're going to go, right? Yeah, unless we move, there's uh, there's nothing else we can do. But it's you know we love this uh, industry, we love our customers, and especially love our staff, and uh, we'll do anything for them to to treat them right. And I, you know, we we do treat them right, and that's where I don't understand the. The government have to get in on that, but you know yeah. we're, we're we love it. So what else are we going to do? We're, we're going to do the best we can do with what we got and get through this. More government. That's what we need. You know, at least in, in, there in the town of Geneva, <laughs> you do have you do have a really good mayor. Uh, um, although he never buys me a drink, uh, Mayor Kevin Burns is a good guy. He's a good man. Uh, I, I like the town of Geneva, except when they play Batavian football. But other than that, uh, you know, we get along swimmingly. Uh, you got anything come up? I know you have Foxfire uh, on uh, Main Street, and then you have uh, the Copper Fox. Where are you sending me for New Year's? What do you got going on? Uh, well, I would come down to Foxfire. Uh, we're going to have our Alaskan King Crab Legs this uh, weekend. A great special, great way to ring out the new year. Uh, we are pretty full on reservations. Space is limited, but with any restaurant, this is New Year's Eve. The best time to call for your reservation is usually the day before or even the day of just to see if there's any last-minute cancellations. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, we're we're going to be featuring our, our you know great list of cocktails. Dylan's got a bunch of neat specialty drinks coming out of the, uh, out of the bar, our mixologist. And you were talking about no, no alcohol January or dry it's January. Dry January, yeah. Come down. You know, you should have Kevin Burns give you a call and come down for one of our amazing mocktails that oh. that Dylan's got coming out of our bar. You know that, and and you know, you know, uh, my my best girl Gina, she she will enjoy a mocktail from time to time, and I'm probably gonna uh, broach the subject of her because I would need her help to do Dry January with her together because we're not heavy drinkers by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, but we're the we're the two that can have two cocktails and be done with it just uh, you know as an evening. Uh, drink, but uh, you know she uh, she runs a much healthier program uh, than I do, as I know you well know. But uh, we will uh, we'll come see you. We'll check it out. My uh, suggestion always is the appetizer. I don't even. I mean, you know what it is. You know what I'm going to say. Well, I got to stop you, Ray, because we made a little change to your favorite appetizer. Uh, what'd you do? <laughs> well, now it's a feature. We're doing a bang bang cauliflower. So it's going to be good for for G. Oh yeah, it's a little healthier. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's selling three to one of the the bang bang chicken that you loved before. So we decided to make the switch, and uh, you're you're gonna have to come down and give it a try. It's well, here. Uh, mom's favorite thing on the menu right now. Congratulations on on the award, uh, and uh, I, I wanted to give you some props because uh, you know we forget that uh, that lunatic and uh, craziness of of what happened to us during the pandemic. And I I will always remember you for uh, for giving me a place to go when everything else was closed. If you can call Fox Fire uh, um, the day of or the uh, day before, see if you can get reservations, and hopefully when you're there. You can see a guy named Kurt sing some Johnny Cash because it uh, it makes your uh, entertainment and dining experience that much better. Hey, uh, thanks for all you do. Congratulations. Always uh, good to have you on the radio, brother. All right. Thank you so much for having me on, and Happy New Year. And hopefully uh, Lindsay says hello, by the way. All right. You tell her I said hi as well. Good people out there at Foxfire and Copper Fox. You can find them in Geneva. And uh, just uh, when you're out there and when you go there, and it doesn't have to be today or New Year's or whatever, just remember that uh, that they fought Pritzker and they won. And I like that. All right, let's uh, talk with Joe Chara. He uh, he owns Go Brewery. I'm told uh, by Quinn here at the radio station that uh, that that his stuff is a number one. I've never tried it, but Dry January is on the docket. We're going to talk about it next here on uh, AM five sixty Chicago's Morning Answer. 
Connect with Dan and Amy on the AM560 The Answer mobile app. Just text the word APP to 64636 to download the app today. Hi, everybody. I'm Kathy Lee Gifford, and I've been around a long time. Every one of us, as we age, realizes that things are changing in our bodies, in the world around us. Lots of times I don't like what's happening. Uh, so what can I do about it? Well, the one thing we can do is pray, right? The other thing we can do is take better care of ourselves. I do that by taking balance of nature because I'm not really good at nutrition. I'm too busy, I'm on the run, and I don't eat enough vegetables, and I certainly don't eat enough fruit. 